Of Wisconsin is not real pleasant. Pinworms are intestinal parasites, and if your children have not gotten them, consider yourself lucky. The CDC estimates half of all children may have an infection at some point in life. Dr. Kristen Bensick is from Bayshore Pediatrics here to help us through this one. All right, Doc, well, let's, let's get through this together. Right. <laughs> uh, tell, tell us what are pinworms and how do parents know if the kids have them? Sure, so pinworms are little parasite little parasitic worms and they look like little literally tiny, like little worms they're little tiny worms yeah. they look like little white pieces of dental floss and the way you'll see them is on your child's bottom mm -hmm. and what they are is they're little worms that you ingest the eggs they go into your intestines they grow up in there takes about two to four weeks and then they go out to the anus and they lay their eggs at night right. and then you'll notice what kids scratching kids is it real itchy or what is happening their bottom they're yeah. super itchy and the anus will look a little red and irritated and you just see kids touching down there a lot I know this is uh, something that we've talked about, whether it's lice or some of these other things. You know, parents have a tendency to be so embarrassed it almost prevents them from taking action. You were saying before, like, this just happens, right? This is so common in kids. Kids are not very clean They're not. with their hygiene. <laughs> and part of it is they're scratched. They don't wash their hands. Mm -hmm. They touch things. The eggs actually live on surfaces, and they can go airborne. So if one child gets it, you can pretty much guess the whole family is going to get it. And you can pick them up anywhere. So it's nothing to do with being dirty or anything mm -hmm. like that. What is the course of treatment then? I mean, is this something that parents can take care of at home? Do they need to see a doctor? So a lot of times we do ask parents to bring their kids in because there are other things that cause anal itching too. Mm -hmm. You can get strep infections, you can just get contact irritation down there. So it's a good thing to bring your kids in unless you actually see the little worms. Right, so if first you, you, you just want to make sure that's what it is, right? It's make not sure it's something the right else. thing okay. because the treatment is really effective. It's almost 100% effective. So one time dose of a pill, you're going to repeat it in two weeks because the pill kills the live worms, but it doesn't kill the eggs. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you get both courses. And then after you treat, you want to wash all the bedding, wash the surfaces down, make sure everything's nice and clean. And uh, is this something that you're seeing? Is it, is it seasonal at all? Does it have high There's times, low no times? There's no season with this. We right. see it all the time. It's just so common in kids, and parents are so embarrassed about it mm -hmm. and completely freaked out by it. Well, I would count myself among them now. Doctor, thank you nonetheless. Important thank information. You. And for more on pinworms or any of the topics that we talk about with our experts from Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, just check out the link. It's up on our website right now.